This, of course, itself brings particular issues and problems in one area, namely in education. And here I'm thinking to some extent of universities, perhaps we can talk about that in discussion, but particularly in the case of schools, where public authorities, be they provinces or, 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 or federal or the nation, nation state, set curricula. We ourselves have had a big debate on, about our national curricula. But once again, I want to argue that for all the problems that there are in putting difficult subject matter before young people, and it has to be said very clearly that self-evidently, when you're dealing with 12-year-olds, you're not going to be able to conduct the free public debate of history with the full range of arguments and material and evidence, also visual material, um, that you would, for example, in a room like this. Nonetheless, the preference should be to seek the freest possible introduction to the methods of historical argument. Here is just one little example, a book one or two of you might have come across called Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf, as some of you will know, what happened after 1945 is that the Allies gave the copyright in Mein Kampf to the free state of Bavaria, which did not allow it to be officially published in full, although it was uh, quite widely available and obviously on the internet. That copyright expires at the end of this year. The magnificent Institute for Contemporary History in Munich had the excellent idea of doing an annotated version of Mein Kampf, which could be used educationally in schools and universities. This was initially subsidized by the state government of Bavaria but after some political debate and criticism, they withdrew the subsidy and the support, although the edition is still coming out. I would want to argue that um, that was the wrong decision and that what the Institute of Contemporary History was trying to do was precisely the right thing to do. That is to say, to confront this extraordinarily difficult material, but put carefully in context in the annotated edition. And it would be precisely evidence of the maturity of German democracy, of German society, if rather than trying to ban Mein Kampf, it was able to confront it in this way. 